God bless you. Amen. Amen. Well, thank God for another Wednesday again. Well, thank God for the wonderful and brilliant summer. You know, they want to experience such, but they are not able. Can you see how fortunate we have? When, the, when it's time for summer, we already have it in the good way. And when it's time for winter, we will experience it in the good way. Amen. That shows that the Lord is good. Amen. The word of God can never fail. Looking at the book of Genesis chapter 8, verse 16. It says, As long as the earth remains, seed time and harvest time will not cease. It says, cold, it says, cold and winter they will not cease. And that is what we have been experiencing. For you to know that God is in charge of every affairs of men. God is in charge of every affairs of men. Hallelujah. Amen. So I'm glad to, I'm so glad this evening to announce to you, you are at the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. I need to tell somebody by your side, you are the right place at the right time. You are the right place at the right time. Or if nobody by your side, you are all there, you know, talk to yourself and say, I am the right place at the right time. I am the right place at the right time. It's something about we believe that nothing just happening for happening sake. This happened at times, we never been able to I explain, you know, understand, but as time goes on, so you begin to see the reason why those things happen. So that is why I told us we are at the right place at the right time of your life now. You are just at the right time. It might look confusing, it might look as if you don't know where to go from here, but I'm glad to announce you are at the right place at the right time, at the right time of your life. Forget about what the world is saying, because what they pass out, they are looking at you. That does not matter. What we are talking about here is what God is saying for us your life, for us your situation. And you know God's timetable is not much timetable. Neither our own personal timetable for our own life. The Bible said many are the purposes in the master. Yes, many are the plans in the master. There is God's purpose that stands. It is a lot of purpose that stands in my life and in your life. Praise the Lord. Can somebody say, I thank Jesus for my life? Open your mouth, begin to thank God for your life. Just thank God for I'm not asking you to thank God for any of that thing. Not for your husband, not for your children, not for your church, not for the ministry, not for the waiter, but for your life, for your life. Thank God personally for your life this evening. Thank God personally for your life this evening. Thank God all that is happening in you, all that is happening around you. Let's give God thanks. Let's give him praise. Let's give him praise. Let's give him praise. David understood this well so well and inside the book of Psalm 103. He said, Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is with him in. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is with him in. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is with him in. Bless his holy name. And this is going to be amplifying that pattern. Not only all the things that we need us to bless us, even things around us, let's use them to bless the Lord. Let's begin to thank God. Let's begin to thank God. Father, we give a praise. We give a praise. We give a praise. We adore you, Lord. We exalt you for all that is not God within me. All that is within me. For in the Lord, getting a perfect earth condition, I want to say thank you. Lord, my heart beats. I thank you for it. Lord, talking of the situation of talking of the reach of over of my lungs, I thank you. Father of my kidney, I thank you. The situation of my soul, Lord God, I thank you. Knowing you, Lord God, the savior of my soul, I thank you. But the situation of my spirit, I thank you. That is is praying there and there in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, for helping me to understand your word. The Bible says, talking as you want me to bless the semi for the world, that they might grow, that Lord God might grow. Thank you, Father, for continuous growth in your way. Thank you that things I didn't know before God was causing me to know and understand the help of your spirit. Lord, I want to say thank you. And also, Lord God, I go for that to say thank you for my flesh. What is happening around me, I want to say thank you. I give a praise, I give a glory. I give a honor, I give a thanks. Thank you, Lord Jesus. People of God also begin to thank God for all that is here. You know? Thank God for your family. Thank you for thank God for the ministry. Thank God for everything. Just look around. Don't look, look around. Look around. Look around. In the seventh month of the year. And gradually the month of July will be coming to a close. For that reason, join me to thank him. Join me to thank him. Join me to thank him. We give a praise to We give a praise to give a Let's begin to leave aside things we have not achieved. Let's begin to leave them aside. Leave them aside. Leave them aside. Because if you are not careful, 
All those ones, that's as a source of distraction. Put them aside. Put them aside. Just thank God because of things that are happening around you. Celebrate God on behalf of that sister that just did to that. that you know. Celebrate God on behalf of that brother that just completed this building project. Thank God for that sister that just got a document. Thank God for that child that got seen. Thank God for what is happening around you. This time around, let's look beyond ourselves to all the ways. But when we learn to give God thanks concerning all those miracles that happen in our lives, the Bible says, and it came to pass. Job prayed for his friends, and God turned his activity around. They have prayed, yes, pray, I don't want to turn it to pray. As you pray for your friends, and God don't don't talk and turn this around for you. So also, you can pray for God on behalf of others, and God goes to turn this around for you. Let's thank God on behalf of others. For all I thank you, Lord Father Jehovah. Yes, Lord, I thank you, Father, for the lack of my brethren. Thank you, Father, on behalf of your church. Thank you, Lord, on behalf of the nation Italy. Thank you, Lord God, for the whole world. Thank you for Nigeria. Thank you for those in the hospital bed that just be discharged, Lord. Thank you for the successfulness of that operation. Lord God, present the life of that brother. Present the life of that sister. Thank you, Lord God, for the glory, Father, to over. Yes, God, the document that's just been released. Thank you, Father, Lord God, for that contract. Well, thank, of you, well, thank, well, thank, thank you, Father, Lord God, for the house, God, that that brother or that sister has just, Lord God, thank you. Of the received. Well, thank you for good news. We thank you for goodness with that. Even for the one the devil intended to be bad news. Thank you for turning around to be good news. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You feel the life of Joseph. If the brothers would have known selling it out, God would have turned to Father Jehovah, the fulfillment of his destiny would have done it. So also, Lord God, with that confidence, with that courage, I am thanking you. On behalf of Lord God, every negative thing that is happening our, uh, uh, around our lives now. Why am I doing so tonight? Because at the end of the day, you turn it around for what good. good. For Lord, I give a praise. I give a praise, I give a praise, I give a praise because of what and not because of the ground. Romans 8 28. The Bible says, For I know, I know, I know, I am confident, I am so sure that yes, all things work together for good. For then that love so God, you and those that walk, God, 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 yes, I call that. Yes, and I call in God, God with your purpose, God. Father, for the reason I wave my hands to say thank you. Thank I join the same so God to say thank you tonight. We give a praise, we give a praise. You are what you are what. You are we give a hey, in the mother name of Jesus, we are giving things. Amen. What shall I say unto the Lord? All I am say is thank you, Lord. What shall I say unto the Lord? All I am say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I am say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. All I am say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, Baba. Thank you, Lord. All I am say is thank you, Lord. Jesus, thank you, Lord. All I have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, Baba. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say is thank you, Lord. You are worthy of my praise. You are worthy of my praise. Invisible God, you are my miracle worker. You are worthy of my praise. Invisible God, you are my miracle worker. You are worthy of my praise. You are worthy of my praise, Papa. You are worthy of my thanks. Invisible God, you are my miracle worker. You. You are worthy of my praise. And they say, for God, you are my miracle worker. You are worthy of my praise. And they say, for God, Papa, you are my miracle worker. You are worthy of my praise. And they say, for God, Papa, you are my miracle worker. You are worthy of my praise. And they say, for God, Papa, 
You're my miracle worker. You rock worthy of my praise. And excellent for God, my You're my miracle worker. You are worthy of my praise. And excellent for God, my You're my miracle worker. You rock worthy of my praise. And excellent for God, my You are my miracle worker. You rock worthy of my praise. Father, we want to say thank you. We are so you are our great God and our great King. Thank you, Father. Indeed, Lord God, you are the invisible God, you are the miracle. Yes, yes. You are the miracle worker. Words are not enough to appreciate you. Lord God, we are saying we should look back to where you took us from, from where we are today. Words are not enough, Lord God, to appreciate you. Thank you. Many other things you have even done, we are forgotten. Yes. Lord God, we say thank you for all. We say thank you for her. We say thank you for her. We say thank you for her. For that deliverance, you gave me the miracle of Lord God to our lives. God. When the enemy came, Lord God, he got married to over the terrible storm. My father, you rescued us. We are come to say thank you. Thank you. For Lord God, the deliverance you gave to us, and the enemy came, Lord God, like a royal lion. Father, we have come to say thank you. When the wicked came, you come of Lord God's sickness. God. Father, to over you gave deliverance, you have come to say thank you. Thank you. Father, Lord, the way of God, we are gone, Lord God, we are there to prove the wicked drawn. We are gone to say thank you. Thank you. Where well, Lord God, King of Lex, here you came our food, you know, all of a sudden you turn it around. Father, Lord God, the same guy, the God that we have given tears of praise and sorrow, I'm comfortable with the tears of joy. We have come to say thank you. Where well, of God, we are gone, Lord God, confused, God, we started, not know what to do, Lord God. We have to go, Lord God, King of Lex, you get us to go, King of the right direction. You spoke and put us in the right path. We have come to say thank you. Thank you. Lord, we resort you. Lord, we have a praise. Where well, we had the last man on the road, Lord, don't want to eat next to the king of glory to over you provided. You step in the record of say, we have come to say thank you. Have a father we give a praise. Oh, indeed, you are the miracle working God. Indeed, you are the miracle working God. Indeed, you are the miracle working God. Bless up your holy name. 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 Thank you for betray. Thank you for success. Thank you, Lord God, for liberty. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for who you are. Hey, my son, the love of us, the Allah, 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 Jehovah, it's your name. Jehovah, it's your name. Jehovah, it's your name. Mighty warrior, ready battle. Jehovah, it's your name. Mighty warrior. Great Thank you, Lord. Bless up your holy name. Thank you for being a father. Thank you for being a father. Thank you for being a father. Not just a father, Lord God, figure-headed father, absentee father. No, the one that just hear the name of father, the near that is always here. 
No wonder the Bible says, Abba, Father. A father that is a father indeed. A father that is a father indeed. A very present help in trouble. For this reason, I adore you from the dead of my heart. From the enormous of my being. Hey, let somebody join me tonight and begin to adopt me. Worship this great thing. Worship this great thing. Worship this great thing. Worship this great thing. The one that says I will come to pass. Hey, I come from whatever part of the world you are here. Yes, from you. Yes, you are here. Before you know it, you turn white right again. Before you know it, you turn money. Hey, after money comes after you. You say, oh, the night of our God is. He never missed it. He never made mistake. For that reason, give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Hey, Masanda, I give a praise. 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 Jesus, you are worthy. Jesus, you are worthy. Bless up your holy name. Bless up your holy name. Thank you for perfection. Thank you, 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 now, God, as we look into your world tonight, today, I invite you that you come after the teacher. Lord God, I oh, Father, I submit totally unto you. I'm holding your mouth is walk through me to reach your people. That at the end of your every life shall be transformed. There will be testimony to the glorification of your name Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank for everyone that is worshiping. Lord God, you don't worship this evening. Father, a deep understanding. A clearer understanding. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God bless you. All. God bless you. God bless you. That was a wonderful moment with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You see, there's nothing where God to lead to this home. There are times you just take some time off to just worship Him. So just give Him all the time. He has done more than enough. You see, the one attitude we would uh, 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 the people of the world, you know, whether being a Christian or not, but whatsoever, we are all that attitude of continue asking, continue demanding, asking. Will God do this? We want him to do the other one, want him to do the other one again and again and again. But it's not always okay. At times, just take some time off. Just take some time off. In the midst of that trouble, give him peace. In the midst of that greater desire of yours, the landlord is trying to send you back in. He has even started throwing your load out one by one. In the midst of it, it it's not every time that it calls for prayers. No, 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 no. They are tense. Tense didn't just fade the way. Tense didn't bring a miracle. Our words, our time, everything is perfectly okay. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Let things even not sit in your mouth. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. But there are mysteries behind Thanksgiving. There are many you know, times when we teach the word of God, we teach on the level the Holy Spirit allows us to teach. There are mysteries, mysteries, mysteries behind the world. So, like the word Thanksgiving is so mysterious that if you begin to dissect it, I don't know how long it will take to take us. So, when you have the opportunity, just give it to in your picture, where you are taking your bath, offer in thanks, offer in praise. You are getting the toilet, offer in praise. Give him thanks, insult him because he has done more than enough and he's even about doing greater things. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You that come online this day, praise the Lord. God bless you. I want you to give yourself a wonderful hug. Say, I love myself. I love Amen. myself. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God bless you, especially you all that have been online with me over and over again. God bless you. And I want to thank God for your lives. I want to thank God for the testimony that people on tripping and people testifying how they have been blessed. Hey, that is why I convert your prayers. Please continue praying for me, praying for my heart. So not I alone. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When you see me doing coming out like this to do the great work in the body of Christ. Yeah, because I have a head, because I have a head, because my husband has allowed me to do so. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. If he has said, maybe he has said it is not possible. It is not possible. I will come. If so, for that reason, I want you to join me tonight. Begin to bless God on behalf of Pierre, the head over my life, the life of my husband. Praise the Lord. In the presence of Reverend Wally, I would you praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. That will say, We love you. God will bless you. God will bless you, sir, for releasing me to fulfill destiny. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
so I want to say thank God on behalf of my children. I want to thank God on behalf of them. They have been very, very supportive. I praise the Lord. They may see me when I'm doing video in like this. They are the ones that are doing the video. They are behind the scene. As I'm talking to you now, they are the ones behind it. For that reason, I bless God on behalf of their life. Also, I want to say thank, thank God on behalf of my wonderful mother-in-law. They have been someone, it's you not know, been very, very supportive. They have been, not been a time. I have made a video that she has not been around. Both during the marriage, you know, teaching that we have every Sunday. She's uh, sorry, every Saturday evening, she's always available from the beginning to the end. That's why I hate. Yes, he makes herself to be a valid. I want to join in this evening, celebrate Mama. Mama, we say, God bless you, man. God bless okay. you. We say, we love you. God Amen. God Hallelujah. God bless you. I want to say, thank God on, on behalf of all the members, members of the National Ministries. From Asti, Varese, here in Milano, the airport, and we have been very, very you know, supportive. Very, very supportive. In the Zoom, there they're always available. God bless you. All. God bless you. The Lord will reward you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So a big thank you to you all here. The Lord will bless you. If not for you, this video will be useless. That is the truth. This video will be useless. The on and no, you keep on logging in. Even many are times after I have done the video like this, after I finish streaming, you see people still watching again and they get sending in their comments. Yes. Even on Facebook, Facebook, YouTube, God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. And I want to say also a big thank you for your likes and comments. For your life and comment, it has started as a lot of encouragement to me. You see, one thing about life is that when you are doing things that there are people that are appreciating it, you want to do more. It's just like the fuel that keeps us strong. We know we have the Holy Spirit in us as believers, as teachers of the world. But also, when men appreciate, God so tell you that also that what you are doing is, you know, it is being accepted. And that wants to make you to do more. So, for that reason, I say I recognize your presence and the Lord will bless you richly, good in Jesus. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And finally, I will not forget those of you that have been sharing my videos. Amen. God bless Amen. you on and not the numbers on you just for you to increase. Because you appreciate it so much, that is why you are sharing it. Because if you don't like it, there is no way you will share it. For that reason, I say thank you. Those yes. of you that are taking time to just, you know, just press that uh, you know, share button and you see uh, you're on your page, it goes wide. It goes wide. It goes here and there. For that reason, I say thank you. God bless you. God Amen. bless you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thanksgiving, as I said, literally is very important. I'll tell all two people thanks. So please let it be part of your life. Let it be part of your life. See what I just, you know, succeeded in doing just now. A way of appreciating mm -hmm. others. What am I trying to do? I want to encourage them to do more. Encourage us who will offer things to our God. The same thing we are telling God, do more in our lives. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So today we are going to continue from where we started last week. From what we started last week. To God be the glory. Praise the Lord. Amen. We started the topic that I had to say, you know, for a while we have we have been on a topic that says, yeah. you know, I, um, our ninth season, our ninth season. We went on that for a while. And then we have moved from there last week. Pray to about topic, prayers, my place of settlement. Mm -hmm. Prayer, my place of settlement. Prayers, my place of settlement. Watch it. I didn't say pray, prayers, your place of settlement. When I say yes, it's like I'm referring to somebody else. When you, when you say so, also, you are referring to somebody. No, I want you to personify it. You are talking to yourself. You see, we become more conscious about the things of life, and we are sure succeeding is, you know, easily when we come to the, the realization that most of the things about life are to do with us. When God was writing the Bible, he wasn't writing it to your neighbor. It was you and I. God was directing his word to you. Even when he mentioned Israel, Israel is a nation. But that's why when he says he said he said being a nation, it is also individual. So today you are believing Israel, I am believing Israel. So that is why I say mine. So when I say mine, they prayers, my place of settlement. So I'm directly talking to you this thing that is a prayer that will settle that issue. It is the prayer, prayer that will put 
put you in the proper placement. So I took time to look at it. When we talk about settlement, what does it mean? What we are going to be looking at prayers. Prayer has to do with the best way and the easiest way I can define it to mind. It's a communication between you and God. Communication between you and God. What is communication? is a two-way, a two-way uh, 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 talking and receiving. You know, you can't ask me to in turn, you know, gives you reply. That shows that there is communication. Virtually every one of us has a phone, a cell phone. When you pick up a cell phone, you make a call. When you're making the call, as you're going to expect response from the other, from the other end. But in fact, you are making that call and you, you pause a bit, and the other person you expect to respond is not responding. That shows that well, that communication is not completed. So, so when we pray to God, we talk to God. Yeah, we pray to God, we talk to God. We expect response from God. We expect response from God. But where you are now, we miss it today is that most of them we believe we just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and without giving God you no know, time to, to give us what whatever He wants to tell us, the direction He wants to give. Let's say we're going to be looking in details in that area. Praise God. I just try to spend some time to explain to us so what I know where this topic is heading to. We had this topic in the course of this teaching. I'm going to be also saying how to receive directions from God. So we are saying tonight that prayer is receiving information, you know, giving you a uh, uh, copy to God and expecting to hear from Him. So what I think it should be wise also if we should know how to hear from Him, from God, and receive directions from Him. If we should know how to hear from God and receive directions from Him, because if we do most of our lives not be there, it, it is now. We will not be confused like our whole life will be perfect. Better. Even when we make mistakes, it will be minimal. If you just believe you, praise the Lord. I see you be exalted, my name of Jesus. Amen. I see your ears be open tonight, my name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I hear the word of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Understand the word of the Spirit more than ever before in the name of Jesus. Amen. You begin to delight yourself. You see, the ways of Christianity, as I always say, it is not difficult as some of us seem to be. No, no, Christianity is a way of life. You don't pretend it, but you just leave it, whether you are in your closet, your toilet, in your bedroom, you know, in the church, it does this just your normal lifestyle. You put your pretending because you're deep, that you put on this without being even conscious of it. That's because if you are not pretending about it, you just switch down the the space is controlled by it. Your actions are controlled by it. Your dresses are controlled by it. Everything you do, you, 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 you do, it is being not controlled by God, controlled by the Holy Spirit. Because as you are associated in making it to be your lifestyle. These people that have got to make pretend in their lifestyle that goes about pretending. I said they about pretending that you can only pretend for people for a while. You cannot pretend till the end. Yes, the secret one eventually must be discovered. You know, no matter how clever it is, one day he or she will be caught. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So I want to look at also we are defining what prayer is. We want to look at settlement. Remember the topic says that prayer and my place of settlement. Prayers and place of settlement. We want to look at two basic words that pick from there, which is prayers and also settlement. Now we want to look at quickly what settlement means. Settlement is that what my place, I, I wrote here, my place of establishment, rooted. My place of establishment, rooted. When we say settle, something has been said, it means that it has been established, it has been rooted, it has become fair. And also, that it has been put in order the way it's supposed to be. Talking about prayers, my place of settlement, not trying to tell us tonight that a way we can put this in order in the place of prayer, things that have to do with our lives. The way we can put it in the perfect order in the place of prayers. The way we can put things that have to do with our life in perfect order, the way it's supposed to be, the way God has ordained it before we were born into this world. The way yes, this will not fall apart. And how great is this place supposed to be? It is a place of prayers. It is a place of prayers. That was why I was telling us that in the last week I made some mention of something that everything that we know that we see happening physically, it's not because what is being guided spiritually. Nothing just happening for happening sake. Everything is being guided spiritually. The physical is being controlled by the spiritual. The physical is being controlled by the spiritual. The physical is being controlled by the spiritual. So don't be deceived. I said this thing just happened to me. No, 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 no. 
If God will open your eyes, so some of us, where we are now, what is happening to us, you will, you will, you will weep and say, ask if I have done, if I handle this thing in prayers on time, I don't think I will be there I am today. It happens to every one of us. But the only one get this understanding of this, the, the better for us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Your TV is not just that, you know, it's just like in the normal world. People that, that have storage, you keep things in the field. Like, for example, so uh, the people that have storage out there, uh, you know, as stores, whereby they store things. You don't just expect things to just get busy here. Yeah? So, that is that didn't happen for you to know that the thing uh, fell down, uh, it could last. That according to the cost of nature. No, you just to put in your store one day. This got missing. You want to tell me it just happened? No, something led to something. Something that's also in our lives. So things are busy. So things are in order. Let's just stop taking this for granted. Maybe this is how God wants it to be. Maybe it's just because of you know, this and that. Maybe it's not. No! There are things that are behind it. It's just like every building. Not building you see standing, standing successful that are actually there. It has a foundation. So that thing you are passing through now, there is a foundation. There is something behind it that needs to be dealt with. I do not see that when most of the time you are tried by your power. I it's just maybe because of my last thing, not be able to save money. Okay, let me start saving my money now. No, no, I don't want to spend it. Before you know, you don't know what to use that money for. That goes to say that there's something somewhere that needs to be attended to. I've been back, I've been married for years. You know, no, 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 child is not coming. Is it wrong to tell me that well, you are not sleeping with your husband well enough? And the husband doesn't know how to do it well. No! Mm. Most of the time, it's not like that. It's just because that well, there are issues that need to be settled. There are issues that need to And the one of them, God wants to do something in our life. That is why He dropped this, He is bringing this uh, uh, topic at this time across your way and across my way. So please receive it and begin to look into your life. When you get the word of God, God will say the word of God is like the mirror, the book of James chapter one. When you get the word of God, take it and look into your life. And he said, could this have anything to do with me? Why do you say it's a mirror? You know what we take a mirror? It's just a mirror. You take a look and you're looking into yourself. You are trying to see what is God's mother to put in the clear. So also when you get the word of God, you study the word of God as a mirror, do this to look into your life. Yes, what the, which area does this word affect me? Yeah, are there things I need to drop or are there things I need to put in? Like, we let this one example, like before I come, I came here on one this evening, I have dressed myself, I looked into the mirror, and while you're not trying to put my face in order, there were things that were not in order. I removed it, and I put what was supposed to be in order here. So our lives are supposed to be. When the one gave me that, you know, that courage or maybe to have a clearer view of my, of my, uh, 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 my facial view was the mirror that I had in uh, my eyes. That also the word of God. When you look into the world, let it be a mirror. And you begin to remove those that does not matter. And begin to not only remove those that need to be planted, you to implant it. And I release strength upon you tonight to do so in Jesus' name. No, no. We will no longer be very offensive in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know what? Most of all, we are not praying spiritually. Because most of the time, we know how to pull down, but we don't know how to bless. As a time, small of all, we know how to plan, we cannot pull down. Let's see the balance slap. By the time you look into that mirror and you see things that are not okay, they are best what begin to drop them. Begin to say, don't stop, don't, don't start managing in your life what God has rejected. See, anything that is not the will of God, you cannot paint it, you cannot manage it, you cannot cajole ca- God at the end of it, God, the will of God. It is not possible. Look at that, look at that, the lack of our father in faith, Father Abraham. He tried to persuade God that each may become his son. What did God say? Even Eliezer, the, 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 the great guy, servant in his house. What did God say? God said, no. Ishmael, Ishmael cannot be yes, your son. That it cannot be my covenant son with you. No, no, no. It is the one that will come from the boys of Sarah, according to covenant. So at the end of the day, someone is never an effort. Ishmael was sent back in from home. It was sick Isaac. So there are things we try to manage, we try to do it one way or the other. We saw sit on sun, they ask my be the will of God. It does not seem to work. One is not of God, it is not of God. 
So that is what I am saying. When you discover those things in your life that are not of God, begin to drop them. The angel will drop them to be better. Why should you drop them? When you drop them, you do not have a fact, you do not have a spirit. So begin to plant in those things that are God. Please don't worry. In case you are feeling that what hey, I'll be left behind. Before I go on this one, that you know, this woman is talking tonight. Will I want it behind the scene? Will men not laugh at me? Let I start from again. Don't worry. I said initially that your time to go up, your time to go up, my life ought not to be controlled by us or by man. It is controlled by God. Mm. Then you say, when God does this, thing, you that seem to be behind now because you are obeying God tonight because of what we have had from you. God, God has sent me as a messenger to you. Then the way God will reframe your life, you that seem to be behind, that He will carry you to the front. And I see God doing so in your life in Jesus. Amen. I see the Lord that I trust doing so in your life in Jesus. Name. The God that I send with good news doing so in your life tonight, my name of Jesus. You are not an exception of good things in Jesus' name. You are not an exception of good things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The hand that will do things in ways of God be better of us. Better for us. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Prayer, my place of settlement. My place of settlement. My place of settlement. Last week we saw Genesis chapter 32 when we started the topic. Concerning the life of Joseph. Uh, sorry, the life of Jacob. Jacob was a man that, according to his name, was a bully. He was a supplanter, a deceiver, and manipulator. Then he continued on and on like that until finally he could no longer cope. He had to cry to God for it. He has to cry out to God. And where did he do so? He did in the place of that. Remember what we read last week? The Bible said he put aside. The wife that he, he know he did not. The Bible says some of the operation. He has to put them aside. Even out of them, pack them aside. Even Jacob, he said, what I saw. He pushed them aside. I said, this time is between me and God. I just want God to settle this issue once for um, once and for all. And the Bible said that was when an angel wrestled with him to the breaking of the day. And finally, he asked him, what is your name? He said, I am Jacob. He said, from today, so you do not be called Jacob, you shall be called Israel. Meaning, a priest. With God, the prince of God, one that has fought with God and prevailed. Mm. That one that has fought with God and, and how did they get here? The place of prayer. Oh, that of prayer. The place of prayer. Mm. See, there are times, there are levels of prayer. There are prayers you get into. I see some people, people are doing spiritual warfare. That is why some people are falling in the last one. Because he doesn't know where he is yet. People are saying, God, this thing, I get this. You, you must get it. You don't know, give it to me, or I know what that way. And people are laboring, they are sweating, they are crying before God. That is why you see some people say, I am tired of them, sister. I begin to wash other people as if it's a spectator. How does the miracle come into your hands? See, nothing good comes just in, 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 with ease. You pay the price. Especially when you know you are coming from. So it's no sad to say somebody that are coming from the Africa background. You are not, not where we come from now. Let's stop this pretense and everything. You know, the head that you face it, the better. Jacob knew. Jacob knew. So he has taken his life for granted. Till now, his job would not have been, you know, his name would have not have stood out. Then he fought to obtain it. So we see strength tonight to fight in the name of Jesus. Amen. You that have been weak in the place of prayer, we see strength to stand in Jesus. Amen. Amen. Every support you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every support you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Jehovah support you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. How come that marriage started so well? In fact, it got wedded in the church. You are going to do all the money that need to be done. Whether traditional, whether you know, cut marriage or all of them, you are done wedding. And how come the city ended up with divorce after a few months, after some years? How come? Because there's a result that went from that. Mm -hmm. How come that career started so well? You were having good results, good grades. All of a sudden, things started falling apart. How come that business that started so well, you had, you were able to get up, you know, expansion, adding branches, concerning that business? All because there are things that need to be settled in the place of prayers. There are things that need to be settled in the place of prayers. So, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, when I talk, talk about establishment tonight, I'm not saying you had a, you know, a bad beginning from the, from the onset. No, I'm not saying that. I do not see some marriage with a couple, we are seriously in love from the onset. But how come they become the worst enemies? Do you not see a child that did so well in school? But how come he or she is not ending up as a drug addict? No, so things happen in our life. We don't have, we, we, like, we don't have solutions, so we don't have explanations. So. Are you here 
concerning me tonight, that goes to tell you there are things that need to be settled. The things started so well, and most of the things I'm talking about, we obtained them in the place of prayers. We got them, maybe a woman that needed the fruit of the womb, you know I will never the presence of God, and God gave us a child, you that child. Then the mistake you are not making is you got that child, you are not taking as if it's your own personal property. You forgot the God that started a good work in you, that started a good business in you. See, my dear, anything that started God by prayer must be sustained by prayers. Mm. Anything you got by prayers from the answer must be sustained by prayer. And you ask it to man, you say, What is God's by prayers? Let's see the word of God. It is everything. It is everything. Let's see the book of James chapter uh uh John chapter 3, verse 27. John 3, 27, you are there quickly. Well, the Bible tells us here. And he said, John three twenty seven. John answered and said, "A man can receive nothing except the thing given him from heaven." That's to say, everything in life, any good thing that is in life, we have it as Christians in our on our hands because God allowed us to have it. Again, to confirm, let's go to Book of James, James chapter one, verse seventeen. James 1 17, I read. He said, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. From above, which above is talking from? Okay. From God, from on high. Every good gift and every perfect gift, anything good, anything perfect, he said, is from above, from God. And coming down from the fathers of light. Who is the father of light here? God. God. So if everything we receive came from God, Two prayers, because how do I say two prayers? The Bible says that ask and it shall be. Meaning that we cannot receive except it's been given to us. Even the Bible says that a man can receive nothing except it's been given from God. We said you ask, then it's been given. Mm -hmm. So if it's God who got it, to, got it from God, two prayers, then for it to be kept, we also need prayers for it to be kept, for it to be sustained. Let's look at the word of God. Praise the Lord. The book of Mark chapter 4. Mark chapter 4. So in case you have been that you have just arrived, then there were prayers, you know, your prayer altar has been abandoned. I know my husband loves me. I know he will never change his mind concerning me. I am seriously in love with the guy. You know he must be will marry me, irrespective of whatever people are saying. Please, please, please don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. See, look at it. Normally in every life, without Jesus, the devil is smarter than you and I. The devil is smarter than you and I. What always makes us powerful and smarter than the devil is the intelligence of God we have in us. Because the Spirit of God will carry it inside of us. Without the Holy Spirit, we are not much for the devil. The devil is so powerful. Don't be deceived. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's go to what the word of God says. Mark chapter 4. Mark 4, verse 26 to 29. 29. I read. He said, and so in the kingdom of God, as if a man should cast seed into the ground. Look at it all. He said, no use, I, I went into this place and studied it. I want to use, you know, our lives, they are like seed. Actually, we started as seed in our mother's womb. Remember, you know, we started uh, the, 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 the egg in our, our mother's womb. And also the spend from our father, the came together. So we are all started as seed. So it will, uh, that is why I decided to use these uh, scriptures or verses we are reading now. So we are going to say the supply of life according to seed this evening. Let's continue. Verse 26. He said, and he says, So in the kingdom of God, I think a man should cast seed into the ground and should sleep and rise night and day, and the seed should spring and grow up in north, not out. For the air bring forth fruit of herself. First the blade, then the ear after the, the, the full corn in the ear. But when the fruit is brought forth, it may be put that in the sequel because the harvest is come. What the Bible is saying here, how the process of how a corn grow, that it doesn't guys expect you take it, you know, you know, uh, two or three uh, seeds of corn and just throw it, uh, uh, throw it inside, you saw all of it, saw it. No, it's not just about the process. It's said when it's being cast into the ground, the person, the farmer that casts those seeds into the ground, he doesn't know how it comes, how, 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 how it happens. Mm -hmm. And the way that says, with time, but if it does see that one, it started forth with a blade. And one is a blade, you know, when the corn is growing, that thing that comes 
comes, you know, uh, 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 I would like to describe it. It's not the recon, but it's just a process of the recon. Then from there, it says that what the E, the E, the E here will come. The E, that is a corn inside. You know, there is no seed inside here. Then finally, they do not move from that seed to the full corn. And when this thing not happen, when the, the, uh, the farmer sees the, the corn is being right, he goes for uh, uh, come ahead and block it, and it's ready for eating and whatever for sale, whatever he wants to do with it. So the Bible is looking at uh, giving our life to simplify this. But please, let's watch this very well. Let's not be deceived that, you know, your life, you just started something, and you are expected to leave it and abandon it. No, it does not just work like that. God, the Bible says that this man does not know how it happens. That he just plant the seed. And when they doesn't know how it happens, they cook and what is trying to say that that is the godly part. It is God that makes the control grow, that will make the control move from stage to stage. I will lie from one level to the other. But they, they, they that's not the clear. This one are never for this seed. There is no seed you swallow into the soil without clearing the ground, without washing over those seed, without watering the seed at the appointed time. Without removing the weeds that are contending with the seed not to grow, and you expect that good seed to uh, do so well. Let's go to the book of Proverbs to prove my point. Proverbs chapter 27, verse 30. Sorry, Proverbs 24. Proverbs 24, 30. If you are you have been a farmer, you will understand very well what I'm trying to say. And if you have never been one, but because of this explanation, I guess you will understand by the help of the Holy Spirit. Proverbs 24, verse 30. He said, he said, I wait for the feet of the slothful. Slothful here means lazy. And by the barrier, that is a fan, of the man void of understanding. That's one. And lo, it was who, which was all grown over with trees and nexus, and covered the face thereof. And the stone wall thereof was broken down. Look at what he said. He said, There is a farmer here. This summer he has succeeded in sowing his seed, according to what we read in the book of Mark chapter 4. But if somebody was wrong with the farmer this summer, what was wrong? This summer never did what he's supposed to do. He abandoned the farm. That is how some of us we are abandoning our lives. Just taking it for granted. You wake up, you know, because that work is so empty, a desire most of your time, you forget to pray in the morning. You come back to think, you not know, thinking when you, are, you know, when you get to the office in the break time, you will pray or go and just ask, during the prayer, a long shine, what you end up doing in that ground, you end up just with your friends and you forget your place of prayer. You come home so tired and you eat, it's just a zoom up to bed. Not forgetting that you are struggling all by your power to make it or succeed in life. That is how the devil is working tirelessly to pull down your effort. May our effort not come to nothing in Jesus. Amen, amen. But for this to be corrected, it is a place of grace. As you are fighting very hard physically to succeed, also fight spiritually. Please, nobody can stand for you forever. We, the pastors, will pray. Pray upon what you will pray. Your, your prayer partner will pray. It will not be as if you pray for yourself. It's just like asking somebody to help you to care for your child. Yes, every mother will care for a child. But most of the time, I know there are some careless mothers. But the way it's supposed to be, most of the time, mothers, yeah, they have the ask for the children to so much care. Look at what we are reading, Proverbs chapter 24. Concerning this lady man, sloth man, Bible says that what? Verse 31. And lo, it was all gone up in tongues. And next is that tongues. Tongues. Shuku, shuku. It was gone up with this. The God that's not supposed to be, they comfort in Britain. And you would they strong word, the word they use of faith that enemies will not come. Do you know that is our prayers are? We are, so we, we, we are consistent in prayer. Do you know that that is how we build a fence around our heart, our lives, an edge around our lives? I remember years ago, I read a book written by God and Lisa. That was years and years ago. I think about 15 years I read the book. But because the book so much affected my life and it affected my prayer life, I cannot forget some of us things I read in that book. And one of the, the, the things that I read in that book, which was a true life story, according to Gordon, it said, that there were a group of missionaries mm -hmm. and they, were, they came to Africa, they were on a mission work. And every night after they have gone to different villages to pray, what they do before in the night before they sleep, they will all dance together and they will pray and they will go to bed. No knowing that the enemies around those villages, they have been going to preach a war, they have been monitoring them. And what they do is typically, hey, tell these missionaries they go to bed, this enemy they will combine their force and they will come to come and attack them. That God was, God 
is, you know, God is not fair to and wash you over in zone. Next time they come, then you know, not large on the natural world, those you know, uh, missionaries, they didn't have a, a place. What they did, they built states. So they, there was no effect uh, around them. They built them, or some of them slept in open, open, open fields. Just for them to bring and they continue their mission work. So they lay down like that. So the next weekend enemies, they will provide forces that will come around to come and attack them. But probably enough, they will not be able to attack them. And why? Who strength with their confession? And what was their confession? They tried it many times, they could not. And they were forced to not confess to the missionaries. I asked them, what is the mystery behind your protection? We cannot understand. I said, those missionaries, those missionaries were like surprised. I said, what is it? We know that God protects us. You know, we are asked to do this work. Oh, we have to. They say, every night, there is a big war that comes, you know, that, that, that is faced around you guys. A big war, solid war. I'm not trying to pray. That, that, that you know that comes to, to surround you guys. That each time we want to penetrate, we cannot penetrate. And those missionaries were like surprised. The one led to their, you know, to, to their confession was that around the land, as these missionaries, you know, as, just as we Christians, that was to us. But there came a time, as the, the letter, the missionaries, because they don't know what happened, they know of that poverty prayers. Most of the times they just come, they just lie down like that. Others will be putting put their hand and say, mm, I'll pray that and then you stick off. Like some of we Christians do. They slept off on and on for some days like that. And what happened to their world? They were still modeled. They started appearing crack. Mm -hmm. There was a crack on the wall. And as long as they, 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 the enemy will always make sure that they no longer pray. Each time they, 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 they go out and come back, they, they, the crack in the wall started expanding. They started expanding. They started expanding. That's when they ask and the enemies decay, they could pass through the trap and go to the crack, but they could not do them anything. That was when they were forced to confess. And they, you know, they, they told the, the missionaries, and these people were frozen to their blood. They quickly, you know, trace their way back to their place of prayers. That might be your story tonight. I didn't plan to tell the story. I want to believe God is using to free somebody. Please don't take the altar of prayers for granted. You know, many times people say we don't have time. I am tired. But that time, you use your own video, watching your videos. That time, you use it cheating on your phone. Because it surprises sometimes. Someone just give you a call say, hey, I don't, let me give this lesson. If I just want to say hello, maybe just a minute. A minute can listen to 30 minutes. Can't you use out of that 30 minutes, just 20 of it to pray and see what God will do in your life? And told that situations around. Mm -hmm. Many of us, we are so especially we that in this developed world. I don't know some other places that pay for medical check of also some parts of Italy at times. But many many at times here yeah, we don't pay for some, you know, for for uh, uh, from, from, uh, some check you know, medical care to some extent. Because of that, some people they don't they any time they are saying just some people this hospital, anything is hospital and drugs. The time we do that, why don't you just pray? It is God that bought the financing. Do you know that any little thing that is not attended to can come to a great mountain? The devil can help you to turn that trouble to a big and mighty one that was never intended to be at the beginning because of lack of prayers. May we arise from our place of stubbornness in the name of Jesus. Amen. May we arise from the place of our stubbornness in the name of Jesus. That is not your portion. So you are not about prayers. You don't need to be many before God answers you. Mm. You and no God can answer it can hear if you know what you are doing. Your prayer doesn't need to be long before God can answer you. If you can make it on a consistent basis, that things begin to fall into in places to your life that have not been in, in, in order. That is why God led me to title it prayers, the place of our settlement. Anything you got done in the place of prayer, it is settled forever. Because of time, I cannot actually go details. You know why, 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 why is prayer the place of our settlement? By, by the grace of God, next year, we are going to be looking on, on into it, uh, all that. Praise the Lord. Amen. So please be quicken. Please be quicken. Please be quicken. Return quickly to the place of prayers. Your place of prayer. You that comes to church before, because we are offended, you are not alone and go. And you don't see that the devil has said the chicken. Most of the times, when the devil wants to deal with us as a leader, he takes you from the, you know, from your people that he knows that can help you. Then it says isolation of keys. All this I believe on myself. I am myself alone. It keys. It is not of God. It's the trinity of the devil. 
Isaiah chapter 14. The devil said, I, me, myself. Go on, go on, look at it. He was only mentioned, sure I, me, myself. God does not work in isolation. Look at the book of Genesis chapter 1, for the creation of the earth. He said that what? He told the God, the Father, God, so, he said that what? Let us make man in our own image and life. It was always a combat effort. Mm, mm. So all this, your, your ideology, I said that what? And it is that I, 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 look, please be careful. The devil is out of strike. How can you be married that you have been separated? You are your husband, you feel like that guy, it is I alone. Now. What is it that cannot be settled? So it is not clear to you that the enemy is about to destroy something. The earlier you were caught up to the reality of things, the better. Have you gone to have you gone to go to the school before you see one person in the classroom? It is not possible. Why is it prepared the classroom? Because they expect others to come along. Why are you going to the market for the market that you see one person there? Why is it not a bad Because they expect others to come along. What are not selling you are selling? What are not buying you are buying? All are not in life. That is how it will be. Go to the station, train station. Go to the bus station. Go to the airport. There are all this group of people. And I'm not saying you're not jump up with that. There are certain people that understand your vision, that understand where you are going to. You don't have what great one into your life. It's X. The Bible said that what two are better than one. Look at Ephesians chapter four. Ephesians chapter four. said two, two are better than four. When one falls, there's a good reward for their labor. The other one will raise him up. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you all tonight. But before I go, let me read that place and run it up tonight. Please, I'm going to quickly rush here. Ecclesiastes chapter 4. Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 2 and 9. In the two, Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9, two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. Why do they have a good reward of their, for their labor? Because what one cannot do, the other one will At the end of the day, four them will be, you know, gladly rewarded. Gladly rewarded. They will be paid and they can easily share the tea quality. Praise the Lord. They say, say, for if they fall, look another reason, you know, the one will lift up his cello. The one to him that is alone, when he falls, for he has not any, another to help him up. If one fall, that's to say that when there's every tendency for we to fall once in a while. No matter how, I know how great you are, how powerful you are, once in a while you feel weakness. That is why you need somebody that will lift you up again in that place of prayers. The if one for your mother will lift him up. The word to him that is alone. What he will God knows, and he says it's a cause to him that the world be cause. May that not be a portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Verse uh, 11 and 12 are round up. Again, if two lie together, then they have it. But how can one be one alone? And if one will prevail against him, two shall be standing, and a tree for God is not fully broken. I see you not be broken in Jesus' name. Amen. I see you not be defeated by the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, our pastor, the Holy Communion, we're going to be taking it tonight before we will shed out of this place. God be the glory. Thank you for the wonderful time we have had together this evening. Thank you for, you know, that's why you're so much busy schedule, which I understand we all in the world we are involved in today, you know, busy with one thing or the other. But despite being so busy, we're able to space out some of your time to share things, you know, to listen to the word of God with me, uh, to me tonight. God bless you for doing so in Jesus' name. So we want, I need bless you to the early communion. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, I lift up before you, Lord God, the holy communion. As you have asked for us, we obey you. I release your power to you as we take it, we'll take the bread of life. Father, Lord God, we take strength to defeat the wicked in the name of Jesus. Father, the wine also only, Lord God, strength to stand in the name of Jesus Christ. We stay alive by your power. Lord God, we come come by your power. Hey, in the name of Jesus, we ask God this one be transformed to the blood. Yeah. This one be transformed to the blood of Jesus Christ. Uh, he has to God, King of Glory, the wife of the Lord, the bread be transformed to your body. Amen. Hey, in the name of Jesus, Amen. 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 God bless you, those of you are fellowship with us online. Please continue on our site or join us at Via Ubado Panchere number three here in Milano, Padeno Diano. Via Ubado Panchere Padeno Diano number three.
God bless you as you do so. Um, so with, uh, can fellowship with us in Barese and ask the numbers are on the screen. Call them and give you direction. And also you can worship also with us online mm -hmm. on every Sunday by 12.30 on the dot. God richly bless you as you do so. And every Wednesday as you have observed today by 7.30 or 7.40, pardon us at times. Praise the Lord. Amen. Father, we want to say thank you. Bless up your holy name. Thank you for the wonderful time spent in your presence. Thank you for reaching your people with your word. Thank you for causing the altar of our prayers to be revived. Thank you for causing the altar of our prayers to be revived. In that matter, the name of Jesus, you that have been weak, receive strength to stand. You that have been weak before the the enemy will no longer occupy you in the name of Jesus. Amen. You know that used to rise up in the night to pray. This day you find it so difficult. I release the strength of your word upon you to do so in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every garment of weakness I release so you to consume. Amen. Every spirit of eating in the dream after feeding with us such food, we feel so heavy to wake up and release so you in the name of Jesus. Every evil contact as a straw in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Great to arrange our program wisely, Lord, during the day. That Lord, God was supposed to fellowship with you in prayers with the world will be able to. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you. Amen. So I come across your way again. Remain blessed. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Amen. Thank you for making yourself available tonight, please. Oh, uh, with a few minutes we have left, we have been looking at the topic. We have the place for settlement. Any contribution? Question contribution. Question contribution. Something you need enlightenment concern. <laughs> Any of those that I will settle you tonight? Please, I want to encourage us, prayers, our place of settlement. We need it than ever before. If we can pray, we will conquer. It might seem as if you are not having victory. Prayers at times is like that. It's like taking drugs. At times, Marelia drugs, those days in Nigeria, you take some, it's as if it is not working. But when it's actually stopped working, you will be surprised at times. So in case you are here, you have been praying and see there's no progress, no result, just continue. Just continue, just continue. In time will come, you will see, you see tremendous results beyond yourself. You will be even surprised there. Yeah. And that's all the prayer they work. At this second, they be like this. That is what God can do. So that is my encouragement to us tonight. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. In the place of no question, we are going to still be doing some prayers. If we have agreed to not pray, the place of settlement, so we're going to be going to prayers. Amen. Mm -hmm. Holy Ghost, do it again. Do it again in my life. Open my eyes to see Jesus. Chole said Let's open our mouth. Let's thank God. I like thank you. Starting off my prayers with thanksgiving. That is my habit. Before I pray any prayer, first of all, offer thanks to Him. We give Him thanks. Give Him thanks. We give Him thanks. Lord, for our lives. Thank you for our lives. Thank you for the church. Thank you for the international ministries. Thank you for our homes. Thank you for our marriages. Thank you for all that is happening around us. Thank you for the land of Italy. We thank you for the weather. Lord, we give a prayer. There are many parts of the world. If they can even do Lord God, see Lord God is light of the sun. A Lord God King of Lord, just a ring of the sun, they will be happy. But here we are, Lord God King of Lord. Father, winter comes, summer come, and we enjoy Lord God every season. Lord, we are grateful. We are grateful. These are your doings and they are marvelous. Black so be your holy name. Great and beautiful. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, I'm going to be praying tonight. I want us to pray. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Straighten for me. My altar prayer. My altar prayer. Open your mouth and begin to pray the altar of your prayer. Hey, begin to receive strength. When I say altar of your prayer, I mean that your prayer life, your prayer life, let it receive strength. 
Let me use some use of prayer time minutes inside of that one for 20 minutes. You use your prayer time inside of that one for 20 minutes. Open your mouth and pray. My prayer life is this way, this is way, this is way. Every weakness I can't say in the name of Jesus. Every manipulation I can't say in the name of Jesus. Manipulation from the pit of faith or wicked my spirit not to pray. I come against you in the mouth. I can't say in the name of Jesus. I refuse to pray. 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 I ref
my time, I will use to use it for. So I'm finding my relationship, I will use it to use it for. So I'm finding my fellowship, I will use it for. In the name of Jesus, I pray for my life. 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 I is that some of us not that we are not willing to know God, but many at times we are discouraged. Why is there? Oh, that's after you do a glass of time, you will still weak. You say, I want to pray and say, God, grace will understand you. Grace to understand the ways of God are not difficult if you understand. It's just like husband and wife, they hear each other, even a man and woman. Even now, understanding and say, go they had before and they quarrel. He go they had and said that we separate. Hey, hey, if there is no understanding, they will be quarreling. But the, thing, the relationship will they tire you. So we want the prayer say, God, the grace to understand you. God, I want to order. This time, watch it all. Knowing God and understanding God, they are two different things. No, they are going to pray, God, know you, man, they make I know you. This time, we are not really praying, God, make I know you. I want to understand you. Who you be, God, I want to understand you. Open your mouth and pray. Lord, I want to understand you. Lord, I want to understand you. Lord, I want to understand you. Father, I want to understand. I want to understand. Father, Lord Almighty, every spirit of this understanding, Lord God Almighty, of your word, of what I can speak the people. Father, give me the grace of God. You are a father. Every child of God is a father. Every child of God is a father. Father, Lord, the King of God, every power of God, that's the God that is fighting for you. The Bible says you are my teacher. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Let's pray. 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 Let's p
will drop blood on the hands of the devil. Yes, Father, Shall be permanent. Those are got job, that job will permanent. Those are got document, that document will be permanent. Those are the money, that money shall be any testimony shall be permanent. The testimony of the abbey is going to yield you once, new ones, new ones. Let's open our mouth and pray. Greater testimony. Testimony shall be permanent. Testimony. Finally, let's wait to Let's open our mouth and thank God for what he's doing in the AC brush, for what he's doing in various brush. Let's thank God. And let's thank God for the hawk. We are yes, we are I said the God to give to us in the headquarters. Let's open our mouth and thank God for this cause. For Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, man. Oh, we are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, man. Oh, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14. For I have received of the Lord. For I have received of the Lord. That which also I deliver unto you. Which also I deliver unto you. That the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed. That right. Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, yes. Took he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he and when he had given thanks, he break it. Said, take it. He said, take it. This is my body. This is my body. Which is broken for you. Which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Please do this in remembrance of me, yes? After the same manner, also he took the cup. The same manner he took the cup. When he has given thanks. When he has given thanks. Say, this, is the, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. As often as you do in remembrance of me, yes? For as often as ye eat this bread. As often as you eat this bread. And drink this cup. And drink this cup. You do show the Lord's death he comes. You do show the Lord's death that he comes, yes. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread. And whosoever shall eat this bread. And drink this cup of the Lord. And drink this cup of the Lord. On what day? On what day? Shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lamb. Shall be of the body and the blood of the Lamb, yes. But let a man examine his bread. But let a man examine himself. And so let him eat of the bread and drink of that. And so let him eat of the bread and the bread. I want you to bow your head. 
Lord, as we take this blood, let it heal out of every infirmity, Amen. let it heal of every sickness, Amen. let it give talk on our city's blood around the way. Try death in our life Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let this blood cancer, add blood pressure, Amen. let this blood diabetes, heart disease, kidney disease. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, the blood of God has a protection against the enemy. Because you say, when you see the blood, you will pass over, Lord. When the spirit of death sees this blood, you will pass over. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And Jesus never prayed. Amen. Let's give him thanks. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, we are saying thank you. Amen. Father, we give you praise. Amen. Father, we give you honor. Amen. Father, we give you adoration. Amen. There's no life unto you. Amen. You are the Amen. Lord. Amen. You are the ancient of this. Amen. We want to say thank you Amen. for us. We are thank you. Amen. Thank you for Mama that you have used. Amen. Lord, we place back the anointing hundred for God. Give her ocean to follow. Give her itself anointing, Lord. Amen. We knew the anointing of life, Lord, Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We come against every attack upon our life. Amen. Every attack from the YouTube will destroy. Amen. Every attack from the Facebook will destroy. Amen. Every attack from the social media will destroy. Amen. We cover by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for 
speak into our, to our message, Lord, Father, that you bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. Everyone that is joining on Zoom, Father, bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, I pray that you give everyone here a testimony in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Give everybody here a testimony in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for Sunday, Father. Thank you for your presence on Sunday. Thank you for my own soul that you are to attend on Sunday. We give you praise, Lord. Take me to the Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Let's share the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. And the sweet fellowship of the Spirit. Bless and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely his goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of the Lord. And we shall dwell in the hands of the Lord forever. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Please encourage the rest of you to be joining us every Wednesday. It's very, very important. And God will bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. We'll see you on Friday for the rescue team at 5.30 to 6 o'clock. Every Friday, 5.30 to 6 o'clock. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye. Saturday is the... Saturday is Mary Seminar by 4 p.m. God bless you. Bye bye, sir. God bless. Bye. Bye. <laughs> wow. Bye. Bye, mommy. Sweet. Bye. God bless you. What do you think, sir? No, no. Amen. Now that come back. Now that top finish. That come back in. Today, yeah. Where was Bogan Baba Fredo? They just come up for here now. Okay. Possible. Mm-hmm. Don't prepare the, uh, our things down. Don't them. I don't prepare pasta. No, let spaghetti with me. Don't prepare now. Why don't you come in? Come on, welcome. Come on, come on. 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 Come on, you see? Yeah. That will be August. I need to shop. Yeah. Hello, yeah. Me, the girl, sit outside. Okay, with the sugar, babe. Eh? Uh, then it will be next week. Maybe uh, on Sunday after church or Monday. Then you go there. Eh? Uh, and when you come now? Uh, mm. Since they go there, they're great church, everybody go, babe. Eh? Uh, and uh, when you come back now? Tell them now, that was the day for them now. So when you come, mm. you go like that. At least why you take them come up for us. Now that's what they important. Yeah. Good. But then from there you go they go walk. I go travel now. I go do a move. That's their place. Yeah. About ten days there, sir. Now they walk. That's their train. Not your regular. No, they day to Lampate. Let me learn your walk there. Eh? Train. Ah, the train. You know say that's their area. In the morning. Three day eight, uh, eight o'clock. Once you miss that eight o'clock, or not in one o'clock. Oh. Eh. Eh. So after okay, after that one, it's only regular. If I say I say regular after that one. And after that, if after that eight o'clock on, you can go there one o'clock. Then after that eh, one o'clock, you can't it can't be. It's regular after that one. It's only every one one hour. Eh. In the night. Eh. Okay, be like that. Oh, no, no, time, oh, this period did not be like that. Ah. This period. That one is on the street. Go be like that. Uh, Beggar more. Beggar He gave from morning to now that they're not going to get to 12 1. He can't be like that tonight. Can you watch the time now? What are you saying, possible? Because please type a lamp. You go watch the time. You're going. Because that it not be happening to start work. Uh, 
You, you want the time. That's all I want to do. Hmm. One, two, two, one, this two. Two. No, no, no. No, no, no. Is where? Is it? 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 Is I'm not a summer. I'm not a summer. Okay. Okay, I don't sell for that side. Yes, that's Javi. 
Yes, what do you do there? Mama, we are asking questions. Where are my place of settlement? So we are to give us something. Oh, Mama, Mama, we need to pray. Mommy, we have got to talk. Yes, sir. Okay, prayer, our place of settlement. That's what I said. I say we need to pray. Two times, we need to pray God in our house. Yes. That's what possible said. Yes. Yeah, Ma. Yeah, now we pray God in our house. Okay. We are asking God. We pray to God. God will hear. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes, yes